So in the last group of videos, we made um, guess the number. So this time I'm going to make Wordle, which uh, is a more complex program. Still not as complicated as some of the other ones we'll do later, but it's a step up from guess the number. And we're going to incorporate sort of quite a few features. Uh, we're going to have more text input boxes and there's going to be more game logic going on behind. So it's, an, it's a nice next step after guess the number, I think. Um, so make a new project. Remember, we're making a virtual environment here. So just because we installed PyQt6 before, we're going to have to install and add this package to this virtual environment again. So click on File, Settings, click on your projects, and then Interpreter. And we just add the libraries here, so with the plus button. So uh, I'm going to search for PyQt. Uh, you can use 5 but or 6, it doesn't really matter install and that'll install that one and one lower down this one and then i'd install this one as well hyphen sip okay and we'll use some of the other ones in future videos so they're installed so that's great so now it's just a case of uh doing the very basic setup so we'll get rid of all this gubbins that comes at the start We'll just leave it like that. Um, so I'm going to be lazy and import uh, some things that I'm going to use. So sys and random, we're going to use later on. I'm going to import, I'll do from pyqt6.qt widgets. Uh, and I'll be lazy for now. Import all from pyqt6. Uh, we want the QT GUI as well and we want the core so uh, from pi qt6 dot qt core import core. okay so we've got that imported uh, we then need to sort of make our app window like we've done before so just like in the previous video let's make an app so it's a Q application And then if we pass it this, we didn't use this in the last video, and we might actually not use it in this one, but um, we might, as we get further along, end up using, uh, doing a little bit more from the console. So having that in there will be useful. Um, and we'll have uh, something like that. And then sys.exit. We'll have a uh, app in there dot exec for execute. So this bit here won't make a lot of sense at the moment, but we're going to make a class called game, which will be our Wordle game. So a little bit like what we did uh, for guess the number. So we'll make that. We might need to do um, x dot show as well. So if we start making that class. And it's going to be, it's going to pull from uh, Q widget, which is a class that's part of PyQt. So this is effectively like a child class. So we'll, we'll inherit all of that stuff like we did before. Um, so we'll start with our constructor. Um, and we need to do super to run the parent. The parents constructor, so that'll run the constructor from uh, Qt widget, uh, sorry Q widget, and it'll pull all that relevant stuff in. And then it's a case of what do we want to add here. So I think it's quite a nice practice. And again, if it was something where you were say making a, a title screen, and um, building your our game so it could potentially be used for different windows and stuff, you might want to pass parameters like size and things through here instead of just putting them hard coded in so um i'll do things like self.title which we can use for the title of the window and we'll call it um i don't know pi qt wordle um, and we'll have some parameters we'll use as part of building the window so we'll have like uh, left 
and right at left and top for how much it is away from the top left of your monitor so we'll have that as 50 50 I think that's what I did last time and then we'll have self dot width equals uh, 600 self dot height equals 500 um, I again I haven't done it yet actually let's put it in here so we did uh, what did we do guess the number we had the images folder we're not going to want all of that but if I make an images folder in the same directory here um, and I'll make sure it's got the Python the small Python icon file in we can use that again now I've put that in the same place as this main file here which we're coding on and you can see it's appeared there look to get to it you can just right click open in Explorer and it'll take you to the project location so I've got an images folder with our Python file in so then that allows me to do um, create an icon which will be in forward slash python.png so it's saying it's in the images directory and it's called python.png so we can use that later to set as the top left icon um, on the window so it just looks nicer um, I'm going to here create a couple of variables which we're going to use later so uh, or attributes um, so I'm going to use current row I'm going to set that to zero so this is to try and highlight uh, in Wordle you've got five rows so let's try, try and highlight which one's current because we can use this to make all the others read only um, I'm going to have self.comp word which uh, I'll leave as blank for now uh, that's going to be a randomly picked five letter word that I'm trying to guess and then my normal um, I call it initialize UI but you can call it whatever you want and then we'll make it here so it's effectively going to set up these um, attributes here and then we run into this function here which is going to actually create our UI so all we want to do at the minute is just make a basic window and maybe add a title okay so to make the basic window um, we did last time set geometry so let's do that again and um, set self dot set geometry and we need to pass it some argument so the first one is how far away from the left hand side of the screen you are so we'll pass it the 50 there remember I could just write 50 in here and I could write 50 50 uh, 600 500 it would do exactly the same thing but the only difference is by using attributes it means we've got the uh, it's easier to change later and if we're going to end up using a class for more than one window which you might want to do um, you can sort of pass these attributes through when the window is created and you can effectively use one class to make multiple windows but it depends how you want to approach it so uh, we'll set the geometry of the window we'll set the window title self.set window title and that's going to equal self.title which is the attribute where it says Pikety Wordle we'll do um, set the window icon self dot uh, set window icon and again that's going to be self dot icon so that will be the the one in the top corner um, let's set up, let's set up a grid actually so I need to explain this a little bit when I made this before we've got a uh, five by five grid for wordle you know where you enter the letters it looks a bit like this so I could partition 
my grid into this and then I wouldn't have space for anything else but I'm also going to want an enter button there and I'm also going to want some kind of title up here and um, so that's for entering after each each guess and um, I might want some extra bits for messages that are going to change so I might want some text down here so suddenly I'm looking at one two three four five six seven eight rows and I'm going to make it probably ten because what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a blank row here I'm going to add a blank row at the bottom and I'm going to add a blank column on either side so it gives it some nice spacing so it's, it's just I can I can do this with padding and things like that as well but what I also could do is is have an empty effectively row and column on either side and then I can change the width of those columns so I'm going to take that approach don't know why but it shows a different approach to what I did with padding and margin uh, in the guess the number um, video so we go back here so I'm going to do a uh, grid equals grid uh, Q grid Q grid layout um, like that and I'm going to do uh, grid dot set uh, row minimum height why is that not popped up grid dot set all right it worked minimum I found it on the uh, on the documentation height and I'm going to say zero has a height of 30 so I'm going to set the minimum height of, of row zero top row to 30 I'm going to do the same for the bottom row which is row seven so I'm going to have seven rows uh, I'm going to do the same for the columns so I'm going to do um, grid dot set column minimum height uh, minimum width I'm going to say this is column zero again we'll have a 30 gap and we'll do the same we might change these later if I've got the numbers wrong as in which column it is um, and we'll do the same for column six so we'll give them these minimum things to give it a little bit of padding around the edges uh, I'll do the standard set style sheet which applies to the whole thing because it's not applied to a specific widget so this is sort of the main style sheet so I'm going to have background to white um, I'm going to do self dot set layout and I'm going to pass it grid um, let's run this so what's it not like in here oh I know why um, you have to do this Q icon bit in here and then put the self dot icon in I fixed it there we go so what we've got there is we've got our window it started obviously in this position up here which is 50 50 but remember this is a 4k monitor I'm recording this on so um, if yours is is somewhere else that's all it is it's just to do with how many pixels on your screen in the same way yours might look like a bigger window than this but that's fine so we've got our window is popping up as expected so that's great okay so i'll stop there um, and in the next video we're going to sort of take a step back and focus on generate a ra generating a random word first okay yeah.